Play Dupe today I'll be making a quick tutorial on an extension of the binary index tree, but in two dimensions. So I won't be covering the actual implementation of a Fenwick or binary tree, but instead I'll be talking about the ideas behind how it works in the two-dimensional case, and then afterwards I will be talking about the implementation. So 2D binary index tree. So the main idea is that if you have a 2D array and you want to find the summation from one area to another, this will allow you to do that efficiently. So consider this um, 4 by 3 array. So we have different elements here, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, 6, 7, like this. And we want to do a summation from any particular block. Let's say we want this block from here, like this. We're going to denote each of these points as the origin A, B, C, D. If we actually sketch out and try to get the summation from these areas, we're going to use something called the principle of inclusion-exclusion. And the idea is that if we can get the area from O to any other of those letters, we can simply use the principle of inclusion-exclusion to get the summation for any range. Just like how we did the binary index tree, if we wanted to get the summation from A to B, like this, we could have gotten the summation of 0 to B minus 0 to A, like this. And this would, of course, result in uh, a to b, right? Because you take any end point here. And if I want to get this portion from here, which is simply need to get this whole thing, get the smaller portion and subtract it out so you can get this shaded area. So the idea of this one, this algorithm instead, is if we have a, rect a matrix like this, We first calculate OD, which will give us this entire matrix, okay? Afterwards, we calculate OB. So OB will give us something like this. Will give us this upper portion over here. Oops. Hands a little shaky. OB, like that. Then we do OC, so we do minus OB, then we do OC as well, to be this part over here. And this one gets double counted over in this section over here. So then we need to add this section back, and in order to add this section back, we add back this part over here, which is Oh, A. So hopefully this gives a little bit of a visual on how if we can get the summation from O to any of these other points, so from O A, O B, O C O D, we can simply use those summations instead in order to construct the summation of the smaller square. So this is ba the basis of the principle of inclusion exclusion. The moment you have this fact figured out, the rest becomes very easy. So the implementation of get sum and update are very similar to the original implementation except now we have two dimensions. So let's look at the implementation of int get sum. So int get sum of int x, int y, and then we have our binary index tree here. We simply do while while x is greater than 0 because we're going up the tree x minus equals x and negative x like so just like our previous tutorial and similarly we do the exact same thing for the y
we have a result up here and then we do a result this equals the binary index tree at x and y simple enough just a reminder from last time this over here this part when you negate it remember we call that takes the twos complement and then you add one the moment you add one to the twos complement it effectively lets you clear out uh, only indicate the rightmost one bit and then since you have the rightmost one bit you can just subtract it and it removes the rightmost one bit so you can continue traversing up the tree to get to the parent and then the rest is just simply duplicating that logic for the y as well and then we return similarly for update Uh, we have the exact same logic. So essentially you duplicate this. So we have void update. So while x is less than um, let's assume that there is a BIT array above. Same thing above. And then we do bit x y yeah. and that's it. So what is the time complexity of this? Well, we have o of log n m for both the query and update, and we have good old o n m for space. So yeah, how do you actually use this get sum? Well, remember get sum, we have to apply the principle of inclusion exclusion. So once you apply the principle of inclusion exclusion, you'll be able to simply invoke get sum. You do something like get sum of if it's like x1, x2, y1, y2 as the coordinates. You would do something like uh, get sum x2, y2 bit minus get sum and then you do the different corners so that'd be x1 y2 bit minus get sum x1 y2 bit which should be y1 x2 plus get sum x1 y1 bit something like this where x1 is x1 is equal x1 y1 is equal to the a coordinate and x2 y2 is equal to the d coordinate so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it makes sense and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below thanks for watching